We're in a race against the Nazis. And I know what it means if the Nazis have a bomb. It is the year 1945, and we find ourselves locked in a desperate race against a formidable enemy, the Nazis. The world still bears the scars of the ongoing devastation caused by World War II. But what if I were to tell you that humanity stands on the brink of possessing a power so unimaginable that it could bring about its own annihilation with a mere press of a button? At first, such a notion may seem like a far-fetched science fiction plot. However, if we fast forward a few decades, this chilling reality becomes all too real with the advent of nuclear weapons. Welcome to Astroworld, where stargazing stories are told. Robert Oppenheimer, a man whose brilliance radiated as fiercely as the explosive power his creation unleashed, was a tormented soul. He was entangled in the enigmatic realm of quantum mechanics and burdened by the weight of human life. Oppenheimer's unwavering pursuit of scientific advancement led to the birth of the atomic bomb, a weapon of unfathomable destruction that not only reshaped the physical landscape, but also forever cast its shadow over the political landscape of the world. As Oppenheimer beheld the devastating might of his creation, he uttered ancient scripture that captured the gravity of the formidable firestorm he had unleashed upon the world. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that, one way or another. Let us now embark on a journey into the abyss, exploring the haunting shadows cast by these world-shattering weapons. In doing so, we witness the legacy of a man caught between the boundless realms of scientific progress and the harrowing precipices of moral conscience. This is the legacy of J. Robert Oppenheimer and the existential risk posed by nuclear weapons. To truly comprehend the magnitude of this risk, let us rewind to the 1930s, a time when groundbreaking discoveries in nuclear physics were being made. A genius realized the possibility of creating a nuclear chain reaction, leading to the realization that such a reaction could be harnessed for creating a bomb. Further research revealed that highly enriched uranium or plutonium were required to construct a nuclear bomb. And these materials were extremely difficult to obtain at the time. They demanded ultracentrifuges, massive amounts of energy, and intricate processes. However, imagine if there had been an easier way, a simpler method to unlock the immense energy stored within atoms. For instance, if it was as easy as heating sand in a microwave, one could have easily caused a nuclear detonation. Of course, we now know that such a scenario is physically impossible. But prior to the understanding of relevant physics, how could one have foreseen the catastrophic storm unleashed by Oppenheimer and his comrades in the Manhattan Project? This momentous endeavor, shrouded in secrecy, fear, and scientific ambition, gave birth to the atomic bomb, an invention that personified the power to extinguish entire civilizations in an instant. As papers rustled and chalkboards filled with frantic calculations, the true magnitude of this creation slowly dawned upon the scientists involved. Oppenheimer occupied a central role in the Manhattan Project. It was an unparalleled crucible of science, driven by ambition and cloaked in secrecy, where the atomic bomb was brought into existence. However, amid the confines of those cloistered halls, whispers of apprehension swirled. Some physicists were gripped by an unthinkable possibility. Could the explosion of the bomb ignite Earth's atmosphere, dooming our planet to a fiery apocalypse? Their concerns were born from the depths of the unknown, where the world had been oblivious to the daunting and terrifying feasibility of harnessing the cataclysmic forces within the atom. As the Manhattan Project raced against time, battling both their haunting fears and the relentless tempo of a world at war, they pried open Pandora's box, revealing an unimaginable power. These architects of Armageddon stood on a precipice, torn between the quest to end a war and the horror of ushering in an era where the very survival of humanity teetered on a razor's edge. The world would never be the same again. Consider the implications of a scenario where anyone, by simply working in their lab for an afternoon, could obliterate an entire city. It is difficult to fathom how modern civilization, as we know it, could have endured such a threat. 
In any population of a million people, there will always be individuals who, for various reasons, may choose to wield such destructive power. The repercussions of their actions would not only lead to the destruction of targeted cities, but would also cascade into further devastation. In addition to the obvious immediate dangers, this technology would create perverse incentives, driving nations with great power to employ massive force for destructive purposes. Nuclear weapons were poised dangerously close to such a scenario. We spent trillions of dollars building tens of thousands of these warheads, placed on high trigger alert. During the Cold War, there were several instances where the world came perilously close to mutual destruction. It was not because a majority of people believed this to be a wise course of action, but rather because the incentives created a treacherous situation. If there had been a perceived advantage in launching a preemptive strike, it would have been exceedingly difficult to resist the temptation, even in a crisis situation. Although Oppenheimer played a central role, he was just one figure among many in the Manhattan Project. His journey from physicist to the father of the atomic bomb was laden with scientific breakthroughs and ethical dilemmas. Fast forward to 1962, and we confront the Cuban Missile Crisis, a moment when the Cold War teetered on the brink of full-scale nuclear war. The Soviet Union's construction of missile bases in Cuba led to a tense standoff with the United States, prompting a naval blockade of the island. For 13 days, the world held its breath as two nuclear-armed superpowers faced each other. Through painstaking negotiations and a commitment to avoid annihilation, disaster was ultimately averted. However, the specter of a nuclear winter loomed large. A theoretical scenario envisions widespread firestorms from nuclear explosions thrusting soot into the stratosphere, blocking out sunlight, and dramatically lowering temperatures worldwide. The resulting crop failures and famines would imperil all of humanity. Now, let us shift our focus to the present day. The threat posed by nuclear weapons is more pertinent than ever. In February 2022, tensions soared when Russia invaded Ukraine, serving as a stark reminder of the catastrophic consequences that can arise if conflicts escalate beyond control. With Russia being a nuclear-armed state, the gravity of the situation becomes amplified. It is crucial that we comprehend the immense destructive potential of modern nuclear weapons, which can be over a thousand times more powerful than the bombs dropped in 1945. The long-term consequences for the global climate and ecosystems are dire. In an era defined by complex international relations and multifaceted geopolitical interests, we must heed the lessons of history and acknowledge the stark scientific realities surrounding nuclear weapons. It is only through such an understanding that we can navigate the path forward, safeguarding the safety and survival of humanity. The existence and ever-present danger of nuclear weapons instill a sense of extreme fear. It is reminiscent of Freudian concepts, the return of the repressed. While nuclear weapons have always loomed in the background of our collective consciousness, their re-emergence as an immediate concern is jarring. The momentary difficulties on the battlefield have reminded experts and individuals of the destructive power of these weapons. They force us to grapple with the knowledge of the devastating impact they hold. Nuclear weapons, until now, have paradoxically played a role in preserving the fragile peace of the world. If not for their presence, it is likely that the United States and the Soviet Union would have engaged in a full-scale conflict, perhaps as early as the 1950s. Nuclear weapons have served as a deterrent, as both sides understood the mutually assured destruction that would result from their use. However, the danger still persists, and any miscalculation could lead to an existential catastrophe. As we reflect on the tormented genius of Oppenheimer and his contemporaries, we stand at a crossroads where the brilliance of human innovation casts ominous shadows. The atomic forces unleashed by their fateful project continue to loom over our world like titans. It is our responsibility to recognize the dual nature of our creations. Nuclear weapons bestow upon humanity a cosmic responsibility of monumental proportions. We must wield this power with solemn wisdom, acknowledging that the fabric of life is both fragile and precious. Let us forge a legacy that illuminates the ages, not with the blinding light of destruction, but with the enduring flame of hope.
That's it for today's video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.